patients come to us with lots and lots of different presentations. Sometimes people have lots of difficulties with their limbs. That can be one of the first symptoms, but where my involvement comes in is when people largely present with throat symptoms. So this may have started as some slurred speech um, or they may notice some slight changes with their swallowing. And these are two areas that I'm very much involved with. Um, I work a lot alongside of the dietitian. Um, our roles are very complementary and a lot of the work that we do is, is done jointly. So we're both very involved with, with managing the patient as effectively as possible. Everybody wants to talk. It, it's the most natural thing that we do. It's part of our identity. It's who we are. So it is devastating um, when your speech, your voice um, becomes deficient in some way. It has so many consequences in terms of your ability to interact with people, to express what you want. Um, and so it, it's really important to try and preserve somebody's communication as much as possible. We offer in the first instance um, voice banking. Um, so this is usually when somebody's voice is quite reliable um, and it's um, done through the Motor Neuron Disease Association um, using some technology. Your voice is recorded using lots of different phrases um, and then the voice is stored. If things deteriorate to the point at which your speech becomes less intelligible, when it perhaps is getting a little blurry or it speaking becomes more tiring, then the option of having your own voice attached to a device is, is very much an option. When I assess somebody for their swallowing at home, I'm getting really, really rich information because I'm seeing somebody in their own environment with the food that they would typically eat and it's delivered and in a, in a way that is very reflective of their day-to-day -day living. When somebody comes to clinic at the moment, it's a very artificial assessment. Yes, of course, I can assess their swallow and, and work out um, what's competent and, and what kind of might need some support, but it's it doesn't have the same feel as if somebody were in a more relaxed, homely um, environment. So we were talking earlier about um, having a kitchen or a little cafe or something where the environment just represents something much, much more comfortable and makes that assessment a lot more valid. Um, in terms of communication, I would love for there to be an opportunity to show people what voice banking is. This is the equipment, this is what it looks like, um, and also the, a, a range of different devices so that people have a, whether they it's at the point that they need something or not, that they've got an idea of what things are um, so that they, they feel less intimidated um, by technology.